so funny games to get slashes don't want to come over. Look at this. Can't tell me that these lipsticks wasn't long wearing. Yeah, these lipsticks have got to go. Now I'm doing my declutter this time around a little bit different. Uh, I would say maybe about two years ago I shared with you guys my lipstick collection and you guys know I keep my lipsticks in the clear emoji drawers behind me. I currently have three free empty drawers, well two back there and then this one will be my third one. But I just threw all my lipsticks that I decluttered in here, I wanted to walk you through them and probably do a little bit of swatching too. So if you want to know the lipsticks that have got to go out of my collection, go ahead and keep watching this video. Okay, first up I have two of the NYX matte lipsticks and these are just shades that I just know I'm not going to wear. This one is Street Cred. That's a pink shade that I just know I wouldn't wear. Back in the days I used to wear these kind of shades but I just really don't gravitate to these pinky kind of shades especially this one because I know I definitely would need a lip liner for that. I prefer more berry kind of pinks and you guys know I'm just a neutral girl. These two pink um, matte lipsticks from NYX gotta go and it's not that I don't like the formula because I still do have some in my drawer is just the shades will not work for me. Same thing goes with this NYX lingerie. This is actually pretty new to my collection but I'm just getting rid of it because I just know this shade is not going to work for me. This is in the shade Baby Doll. But it's like an ashy pink nude that I just know damn well is not going to work for me whether I have a lip liner or not. So that gotta go. Two things that I'm really really sad to go. Sad to see go. I used to love these colors. These were featured in favorites maybe about two three years ago but they went bad on me now so these are I should have a third one actually I had three of these and for some reason only one stayed in my collection I don't know if I swatched it and felt like it was still good but this one is in Bury Me I used to love those of colors Bury Me and you can just tell from how it how dry it was coming out of the package like this is a done deal and this one is in Black Rose this was actually a limited edition collection and again it just comes out really really dry uh, swatching it is like really really rough and stiff so they just gotta go but I'm so sad to see them go Dosa Colors liquid lipsticks are a bomb formula and it's just you know like I said sad to see it go I have a whole bunch of the Milani this is the Milani Brilliant Shine Lip Gloss this is the Milani Amore Matte lip creams and then this is the a more metallic lip creams with milani lip products they just tend to go bad really really fast and that's one thing i just don't like about it when you first get them they smell really really good but after a while and not a long while either these say it has a shelf life for 12 months maybe i did have these for 12 months so you know it's just time to get rid of these and you want to know the shades this is automatic touch materialistic matley in love raven matte that's that purple shade and then in the more lip cream loved was my joint and then this beautiful chocolate brown color was covet covet and then the lip gloss was in luminous i have the two of the lime crime now this is taking it back right y'all remember when these was popping these are the lime crime what are they called i can't even remember what they're called but it's like their version of the liquid lipstick and i really did like these did um they were very liquidy and ugh, just seeing that clump of something on the end of the thing just turns me off automatically so these definitely have to go. Oh my god that red, that red velvet was everything. That was one of my favorite reds at one point in time and even the pink was popping like I used to rock these lime crime lippies like nobody's business. That pink velvet was really really pretty as well. So two that I'm sad to see go but I haven't reached for them in a long time so how sad am I really you know. I have two of this Ciate Liquid Velvet lipsticks. Uh, the red one is in the shade Diva and this one is in the shade Head Over Heels. And I don't know why I'm getting rid of these, honestly, because I hardly ever use them. Did I find that they went bad? These are more of a thicker consistency if you see that pink swatched in next to the other pink. Even with Lime Crime being expired, quote unquote expired. Um, you can just see how much more liquidy it was compared to the Ciate Velvets and that's what it is. It's more of that thicker velvet mousse texture. So I wasn't really a fan of the wasn't a, really a fan of the formula with them. So I think that's why I'm getting rid of these. This is the red one. See, it's not bad. Actually, I should hold on to these for my sister. 
and see if she wants them. But that red right there is the Ciate and Ciate Liquid Velvet in Diva. So pretty colors, just not the formula that I tend to go for. Oh, found another NYX product here. This is a NYX, and I remember this. This is old school when I used to live on the other side, so I know this is old. Uh, this is the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Lollipop. And I remember this because it was like a pretty orangey shade. It was like one summer that I was really topping off a lot of my lipsticks with it. But it's like a creamsicle kind of color. It gives you that nice orangey tint over it. Over anything that you put on top. Or even if you do a lip liner like that. So I don't know if you're going to see that. But that's it here. I have a whole slew of these. What are these called again? Uh, Lena Lashes. Lena Lashes here on YouTube. She is a black owned business here she's also a fellow youtuber that she goes by the name of what is her name again i can't think of it i'm gonna place it on the screen so you guys can see what her name is i can't remember but these lipsticks when they first came out you know they i think when i got these these were like on the mega five dollar sale so that's why i have so many different shades of them i kind of od'd but you know you live and you learn there's a whole bunch of drama behind nina lashes with the shipping how long it takes to get your stuff, the shipping cost that she charges you per lipstick. Like, I understand that you're a startup business, but, like, you should be advised by other people about good business practices. And it was just a mess. These lipsticks are a mess. They, like, they're very, very super matte drying on the lips. Um, you can actually, I applied one just to see if I was going to keep any. And when you put it on your lips, they just age your lips. Like, you see every single crack in your lips. And that, to me, that's just not a good look. I didn't like them from the jump because out of the... What do I have in my hand? Out of the ten lipsticks that I have in my hand, only one, two, three, four, five out of... So, five out of ten. Literally half of the lipsticks have the names on the bottom. I don't know if you can see the stickers. Like, the packaging. Everything about <laughs> this release was just a mess. I'm telling you. Like, if you see, I have two different pinks. How am I supposed to know which pink is which? You know what I'm saying? So, to tell you guys what lip color I'm wearing, or just for me to know what lip color I'm wearing, and, you know, if somebody walks up to me in the street and say, oh, I like that lipstick. You can't even say what it is. You just say, oh, I bought it online. Like, it's just not a good look. So, you can actually see the cracks and stuff through the packaging. They're old. So, it's not like... I did get my money's worth. I only paid $5 a piece. So, I can say I got my money's worth. Because when I did get them, I really did you know wear them a lot but it was just a little bit way too drying but that was back when we was in our real if you notice a lot of the stuff that i got rid of is all you know during that whole matte phase and as you can see i'm more of a gloss girl these days so not really stressing it it's all good and speaking of mattes hello colourpop one thing i will say about colourpop a lot of their stuff goes bad so quickly like oh my gosh like they're constantly dropping new collections all the time and it's like you can't keep up so for me to have so many lipsticks going out from ColourPop it gives me a sign that I need to take a break from ColourPop even though I'm just rocking a new ColourPop lippy right now this is from the Ellery collection I did pick up every lip shade from the Ellery collection so if you guys want me to do a lip swatch video on that collection I'm really digging her packages and everything I'll probably come back and show you share that collection with you guys anyway but the thing about ColourPop is they gave us such a large selection of different colors and a pretty decent formula now that i've tried so many different liquid lipsticks over time of course there's certain formulas that i prefer over ColourPop, of course but you still can't beat the price five dollars for lipsticks like every day like you don't have to wait for a sale and even when they have a sale it's even better they do their 25 percent off sales you can use a new email address and i think they give you five dollars off if you refer friends they started this now that they want you to refer friends like all oh, my friends already wear color pop you know what i'm talking about if you refer a friend to color pop that you get like you get like a referral for your you get a fee for the referral and they get to save money and stuff like that like all my people's wear color pop i'm pretty sure all of you got color pop but just in case you don't and you're thinking about ordering you some color pop go ahead and check my description box down below because i'll leave that referral link down there maybe it can help me towards my next order from color pop because there's always going to be a next order from color pop right <laughs> But a few of my favorite shades is in here, man. I'm so sad to see these go. Like, Chili Chill. That was my shade. This was, like, such a beautiful...
color. I'm going to take off my watch and I want to swatch these um ColourPop lippies because we just love ColourPop. So we got to give some special attention to ColourPop. And I'm sure I probably have videos on my channel when I originally purchased these things and swatched them. I've done lip swatches and stuff like that. But we're going to do it just to say goodbye. Okay, so Chili Chill. This is what Chili Chill looks like. Freaking love that color. It's so, 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 so pretty. And another thing about these ColourPop lipsticks, all the writing comes off so you can't tell if it was a matte lipstick or if it was the satin, which is what I prefer from ColourPop these days is their satin lip formula. It still has the same lasting power, but it's just not as uncomfortably dry like the matte, um, like their matte lipsticks. So next one is Tule. Another shade that I really did like, so I'm going to swatch that next to it. And it's so funny how how similar those two colors look, right? It's crazy. So that's why I think ColourPop's getting away with murder. They keep putting out the same shades over and over again, and we just keep buying them over and over and over again. But, you know, you like what you like. If you're a girl that rock reds, then you're going to always want to get the latest red. You know what I'm saying? I like nudes. Hence, I got me some nudes. I like berries. This one is more better. This was my shade, yo. I'm so sad to see these go. I'm telling you. More better was the stuff. But I'm telling you, as I'm taking them out the tube, I just know they're bad. It's like a clump of stuff at the top, and it's just not a good look. Ugh. But more better, that beautiful berry fuchsia shade. And this one is Times Square. I believe uh, this was a pretty recent collection if I'm not mistaken with Times Square maybe sometime last year but it's more of a nude I think I had got this for free if I'm not mistaken and this one this is an ultra matte lip oh, I was gonna say and I can tell from the packaging the rose gold at the top this was part of the Karuchi collection and this was in the color Chi or Ch yeah Chi for Karuchi so this was part of her original collection and that's more of a warmer nude kind of color but still not a color that I absolutely loved but what I did love from that collection is her lip pencil in Chi good luck and I still have my lip pencils that those I'm not getting rid of they don't go bad and this one is in stain I don't recall like wearing this one so much oh yeah because it's more of a lip gloss and this just wasn't a color lip gloss that I was interested in wearing <laughs> I think I got that one free as well and that's one thing about ColourPop sometimes they they offer these promotional codes where you buy three you get free they give you limited edition collections like ColourPop is really cool so that's why we just love them Limbo oh, Limbo was my shit let me tell y'all this brown right here Limbo was the bomb can y'all see that was Limbo not popping like these are shades if they're still available and you're interested in any of the shades that I'm swatching, go ahead and go over to ColourPop. Teeny Tiny, this was another shade that I really did like. My kind of nude color here. You guys know I like those kind of nudes, so Teeny Tiny was one that I wore a lot. And this one doesn't look so expired, actually. Oh yeah, but the, the you can tell these are expired by smelling them, by feeling them, just by seeing the texture. Like, mm -mm, they gotta go. Another good one, Guess this was such a pretty color like oh my gosh tell me that color wasn't everything guess is so bomb like everybody when this color came out everybody was rocking guess and it was just so freaking pretty viper i kind of remember this shade let's see what it looks like oh yeah this is like that um that's viper right there pretty shade i remember that shade i don't remember rocking it like that so much but it was a pretty cool shade. Kapow. This is a color that everybody and their mama from the lightest of the light to the deepest of the deep tried to pull off. And not everybody could pull it off. But Kapow was definitely one for the history books. If you ask all color pop heads, they know what Kapow is. That was just like when the grade effect was really in, Kapow was one that we was trying to definitely um, rock. Oh, Stingray. This was the collection. I forgot that It's My Ray Ray had collaborated with. ColourPop as well so this one is in the shade Stingray and I think that may have been last year or the year before that but y'all see I go for those brownie nude kind of colors like Stingray was popping and I have to get her stuff from the BH Cosmetics collection have you tried those brushes let me know if you tried the It's My Ray Ray and BH Cosmetics 
brushes because I'm thinking about getting that brush set with the brush cup and I definitely want to get the lip products. I'm not too sure if I want to get the palette itself because I just don't reach for those kind of palettes all the time. But let me know if you picked up anything from that collection. This next one is in Fudged, another brownie shade. Oh, it's like a caramel kind of lip gloss actually. So again, not something that I really went for. So yeah, it can go. This one, Drive-In. Oh my God, I used to ombre Drive-In with another purple. It was a popping purple too. I can't think of what it was. Panda. Panda? Panda, Panda, Panda. <laughs> I think it was Panda that I used to mix it with. But this is Drive-In and this one was popping as well. Pretty vibrant purple. So pretty. Bad Habit, another favorite. This was that pretty pinky berry. Oh, but mauve, like... It's hard to describe these colors. I ain't gonna front. Colourpop did come out with some pretty unique shades. It's just that it's been like, what, three, four years now since we've been rocking with Colourpop? Last year, Colourpop came through with the brow products. I love color. I just love Colourpop. The brow products, the eyeshadow palettes that they came out with. Like, y'all cannot sleep on Colourpop. This one, Lychee Me. I think this is, yeah, this was another gloss. And this was the gloss that I wore the most out of all the Colourpop glosses that I had because it's more of that true gloss kind of effect. You can't see it because it's just gloss. <laughs> Avenue. This was another good one. Look at this, Avenue. Oh, yes. When ox blood fall, like, tell me that doesn't scream fall. Yes, color pop, yo. And the last color here is tulips. I remember this shade. Again, that was during the era of the whole rage effect, but this one was way more wearable than Kapow was, but that is all the shades of the ColourPop lipsticks that I am going to be decluttering. Again, you guys saw swatches earlier of the other shades that I'm going to be decluttering. So yeah, guys. So guys, this is where my lipsticks are housed now. Quick run through. That's just like MAC stuff up there. This is my full size Stila Kat Von D Colored Rain, NARS, and then the kit that I got from Huda Beauty. Uh, these are minis. These are all my Stila Stay All Day. These are like the best liquid lipsticks ever. My lip gloss is from Anastasia. And I don't really like these, but this was a holiday set. This is the Tardiest Lip Paints. Here, these are my newer lipsticks that I've been using a lot. The NARS. You guys know I love these NARS Power Mats. My Marc Jacobs lip, um, my Marc Jacobs lip glosses. The Rihanna Fenty. My bucks I'm back there. This is my Kylie draw hair. I do have a lot of Kylie. And I do like her formulas of the lip glosses and the mattes as well. This is for sentimental value. I actually worked with LA Splash during iMats two years ago. So I have a lot of those. And I had purchased some previously as well. These are lipsticks I don't really reach for. But I feel like I shouldn't get rid of them as of yet. So those are there that I actually need to try out more. These are more new lipsticks. You guys saw me do the lip swatch video for the for both the CoverGirl. No, these are the CoverGirl. For the CoverGirl Melting Pouts and the Maybelline Super Stay. And then I have some of the Maybelline glosses, which are really nice also. My Wet n Wild Draw. You know, these are OGs. And these I just will never get rid of because those are like the bomb lipsticks to throw on. Uh, these are from my collaboration with Bronze Colors. These are some e.l.f elf stuff there and then these rimmels i don't really like these as well but i don't know i'm holding on to them for now um my nyx drawer which there's some missing who knows i probably got lipsticks this is this is a mess over here so you know i probably got like stuff all over as well that needs to go in here but yeah my nyx drawer this is some more drugstore stuff maybelline l'oreal covergirl milani cover girl and then these are the Maybelline glosses which I like those as well and then I actually have three empty drawers here for my Muji so I'm excited about that and these are the deeper Muji drawers you guys know I have the two drawer I have another set of two drawer back there but I have the two drawers here and this one is filled with the rest of my color pops that I'm actually keeping for now and the lip uh what do you call those the lippy sticks over there and then down here a whole bunch of drugstore Rimmel What's this? J Cat Beauty. These were bomb. These are from Ruby Kisses. 
Um, these LA LA Girl Glaze paints. I don't really get too much use out of those, but it fits there, so I'm just gonna hold on to those for now. So yeah, that's basically a quick overview of what's left in my lipstick drawers back there, besides whatever else I gotta put away. So oh and then on to the side, you guys know I keep my MAC stuff over here in the spinner which is not going to spin right now because of all the stuff that i have in front of it but yeah guys that's all of the lipsticks that i have decluttered from my collection for now i've been on this whole decluttered mission i haven't been sharing it on camera i just find that it's just easier for me to get rid of stuff when i'm not on camera i just get rid of it i have been selling a lot of things over, over on poshmark and the makari i think that's how you say that app so i'll leave my links down below if you want to check that stuff out none of my lipsticks will be up there every lipstick that i've put on my lips will either go to my sister my friend or it will just go in the garbage if it's expired like those color pop and lena lashes lipsticks so don't worry about that but go ahead and check out those apps if you guys are on it go ahead and follow me if you're not i'll try to leave some links down below where you guys can get a little bit of credit towards your purchases on those apps if you do decide to join but yeah that's basically it for this video if you enjoyed it you guys know how i feel about you giving me thumbs up my heart has been so full seeing all of your comments your likes your love like this is what we do youtube for i've been having such a good time here on youtube and i thank each and every one of you for that so if you're not already go ahead and join the k squad and subscribe here to this channel and for all my OGs, thank you guys so, so much for returning back to this video. And I hope to catch you all in the next video. Later, y'all.